Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see about S3 buckets in AWS. So S3 buckets is used for simply used for storage purpose in your Amazon Web Services. So Amazon Simple Storage Service, that is what uh, Amazon S3 is. It's S3, we say it's S3 buckets. It's a scalable object storage service provided by Amazon Web Services. It allows you to store, retrieve large amount of data. So you can able to store and retrieve the large amount of data, such as documents, images, videos, backups, logs, and more. You can store the data of any type. So either it will be a, <clears throat> either it will be a images or videos or any documents or logs, anything you can store in the S3 buckets and you can retrieve it at any time. And S3 is designed for durability and then availability and scalability. So what is durability is you can store the data for any duration of time. You can store the data for any duration of time. You can store the data now and you can retrieve it after five years, after 10 years, and you can store uh, data before 10 years. It means if you store your data before 10 years means you want to take it now. So the data is stored for 10 years. That is what durability. You can retrieve it anytime at any place. That's what durability and availability is. The data is available at any place. So it is available at any place. You can able to retrieve it back. So it's very simple. You can use your user ID and password. You can use your user ID and password to log in. You can use your user ID and password and you can log in and you can able to take your data back at any place. So that's what availability because each user has a unique username and password. They can able to log in and they can able to retrieve the data back. So the data is available at any place. And then scalability. That means uh, based on your requirement, you can scale up or scale down your storage. That's what scalability is. So based on your requirement, either if you want more storage, you can scale up your storage. And if you want less storage, you can scale down your storage. You are going to pay based on the usage of your storage. So if you are using 10 GP, you are going to use, uh, you are going to pay for the 10 GP. If you are using 100 GP, you are going to pay for that 100 GP. That's what scalability is. So Whatever the usage you are doing, you are going to pay for that. Okay. So, and make it a core storage services in the AWS ecosystem. So it's a core storage in the AWS ecosystem. S3 allows you to store virtually any type of data. So virtually you can store any type of data, including documents, images, videos, and backups. And each piece of data is referred to as an object. So each piece of data that is referred to as an object and it is stored within the bucket. So you are going to store some data inside the S3 buckets that will be images, videos, backups, or logs, but that will be considered as objects. If you are storing something into the S3 buckets, that will be considered as an object and that will be mentioned as the objects. So I hope it's clear for everyone. Thank you, everyone.